guys, my name is Buki and welcome to my channel. In this pattern and sewing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an origami tote bag. This is very easy to make and requires minimum cutting and sewing skills. So without wasting your time, let's get to it. To begin, I'm going to be using this beautiful pattern fabric measuring 21 by 21 inches for the front side and the cream cotton fabric for the lining measuring 21 by 21 inches. For the straps, I'm going to be using the cream fabric measuring 15 by 4 inches. Next, I'm going to turn over the fabric, right sides facing each other. Then I'm going to be sewing the edges of the fabric on a 1cm seam allowance all through but leaving a 4cm opening so I can turn the fabric inside out. Once I'm done, I'm going to trim off the seam allowance at the corners of the fabric so that when I turn it inside out, I can get pointy edges. Once I do that, I'm going to turn my fabric inside out and then give it a good press. After that, I'm going to top stitch the opening. So once I'm done, this is what it looks like, all nice and flat. Next, I'm going to fold my fabric in half and measure the left edge. The measurement is 10 inches, so I'm going to mark the midpoint, which is 5 inches. Then I'm going to mark the same 5 inches at the center fold, just like this. Once I do that, I'm going to connect the two points by drawing a line. Next, I'm going to do the same for the right side. Find the midpoint measurement, mark it, and then mark the same measurement on the center fold, just like so. Then I'm going to connect the two points. Remember, this pattern is a perfect square, so it's going to be the same measurements as the left side. Next, I'm going to sew along the two lines. Once I'm done, this is what it looks like. Next, I'm going to open the top layer of the fabric and I'm going to join the two outer edges together just like so, making sure it's flattened properly. Then I'm going to find and mark the midpoint just like I did before and also mark the center fold with the same measurements. I'm going to connect the two marks by drawing a line. Next I'm going to secure this with some paint, flip the fabric over and then do the same thing on the other side. Once I'm done, I'm going to sew along the two lines. Once 
While we're learning, please can I ask you guys to support me by subscribing to my channel. This means a lot to me and it tells me that you guys enjoy my tutorials. Thank you in advance. Once I'm done, this is what it looks like. It's already taken form and I'm going to turn this inside out. Next, I'm going to open the inner sewings inside the bag, which forms a triangle, just like so. I'm going to flatten them and also secure them with some pins, but you can iron it if you want. Once I do this, I'm going to sew right at the edge of the triangle. Once I'm done, this is what it looks like. So the main body is complete and we have an origami bag. For the back straps, I'm going to fold the left and right edges of the straps by one centimeter. Then I'm going to fold the top and bottom parts into the middle of the fabric. Then I'm going to overlap them just like so. Once I'm done, I'm going to give it a good press, then I'm going to top stitch the entire edges of the straps. Next, I'm going to insert the straps on two of the bag's pointy edges adjacent to each other. I'm going to secure it with some pins, then I'm going to sew it on the bag. Once I'm done sewing the straps, this is what it looks like. We have a finished product. Easy, right? 
I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please, please do not forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time, my loves, have a good morning, afternoon or night. Bye.